So I'm hanging out here in front of a machine, we've got data running, and I'm looking at the screen that looks a lot like my 401k right now, but we know there's a lot more going on there than that specific account. And I'm hanging out with Ryan from Karen Engineering. Hey, how you doing today, man? I'm doing great, Eddie, how are you? Hey, it's a great day to make some chips and talk about data. And speaking of data, we're here at Steric in front of one of their wonderful machines, and we've got all kinds of information here. So let's start first on the relationship between Karen Engineering and Steric. Why, how, and what do we need to know? Our relationship with Steric Machine Tools has been fantastic. We have a number of common customers in the United States and around the world, and our partnership has been very beneficial for both ourselves, Steric, and our customers, and we're happy to be here. Thank you. And speaking of happy, I'm really happy to learn more because we're hearing the spindle moving, we're hearing these chips being made, I'm seeing all types of activity on this screen here. I'm seeing TMAC. Ron, I'm going to say less. What do we need to know? Yeah. Yeah, so TMAC is our flagship product from Karen Engineering. It's been in existence since 1990 as a commercial product. It's been updated and features added over the years, but the basic concept and the basic premise has always been the same. We want to be able for our customers to monitor their cutting processes in real time. And we're gonna do that for two important reasons. One is for random tool breakage, which is the bane of existence for anybody cutting material, whether it's milling as we are on this Star Egg LX021, or even a lathe. Tool breakage is a big problem for customers. The way we solve that is to use sensors which we have installed on this machine, what you're seeing here is 200 data points per second from our power sensor, which is wired to the spindle drive motor of this machine in the control cabinet. And that's telling our software the exact cutting parameters of the tool as it goes through its life, from sharp and strong to weak and dull. So we're gonna use this information to inform the operator and maybe there's not even an operator there. This particular product is extremely useful for unattended or automated operation where there's not even a human in involved in the process. We are communicating to the CNC control in real time to notify if there is tool breakage or better yet, not get to tool breakage, but get to end of tool life. And this system will notify the machine when we're at end of life and allow the machine to increment to another tool so the manufacturing process can continue. So much valuable data that you're bringing to manufacturers around the world. So I'm kind of curious, what additional value are you bringing into these end users and do you have a specific application where you've seen this just go above and beyond for end users? Absolutely, so the name of the product is TMAC. The acronym TMAC stands for Tool Monitoring Adaptive Control. So let me talk about tool monitoring for a second, and then I'll talk about adaptive control. Tool monitoring solves the problem of when do I need to change the tool? And for different applications, that can be a really challenging value proposition. Different materials cut differently. From billet aluminum, which is relatively easy to machine, all the way up to the high nickel alloys like Inconel and Hastelloy that are very difficult to machine. Regardless, operators are generally trained to never break tools. When we have changing cutting conditions, the proposition of when do I change the tool becomes a little bit of a guessing game. So operators are generally changing tools earlier than they should be because they don't want the tool to break. That, and it makes sense. The problem is that cuts into the profitability of the customer and it also increases downtime. Because when we have to change tools more often than we should, we have to stop the machine, change the tools, etc., And that really cuts in, again, to profitability. So our system, using our sensor data, knows exactly the perfect tool life of the tool and when it's time to change the tool because it has historical data that we've learned and will command the machine to take corrective action such as, again, changing the tool. All the time though, in the background, if something unexpected happens, if we have a catastrophic tool failure, we will stop the machine quicker than any human could ever do it. We are wired directly into the CNC control. In this example, on the CNC, 
we have system alarms that we can create that will automatically stop the machine in a safe condition if something goes awry. That's just tool monitoring. So we've now solved the tool life problem. We've solved catastrophic failure problem, or at least eliminated potential dangers that happen there. The AC in the acronym, Adaptive Control, takes it to another level. Our adaptive control system allows us to optimize the cutting feed rate in real time. So we're changing the speed that the tool is moving to compensate for the tool's condition. So a brand new tool that's sharp and strong should run at X feed rate. We can figure that out. But that tool is changing dynamically through its life. It's going from sharp and strong to weak and dull. And what the right feed rate as it goes through its life, what that is, is a variable. And if we look at the component that's being machined here on this machine, we see that there's a number of contour cuts on this cut on this part as well. So not only do I have a tool that's changing through its life, we have material that changes from lot to lot. We also have chip load that's changing as the tool moves through its program toolpath. So my chip load is dynamically changing. My tool's changing, my material's changing. What's the right, right feed rate now? What's the right feed rate now? They're guessing. They, that's the only thing our customers are left to do. With this system, again, 200 data points per second, we are adjusting that feed rate in real time with real data to keep the tool cutting at the optimal feed rate. Wow, so if something bad has happened, you notify and can handle it immediately. And if you can see something bad will happen, you can step right in and use your data to help lead to overall better decisions. Is that what I'm hearing? Absolutely, absolutely. And again, that could be with an operator or an unattended robotically automated cell. So it, it depends on the, the application and the situation, but in either case, the system, the, the ROI on the system is, is very quickly realized because the, the fear factor is gone, the machine runs more, the tools are better utilized, and the cycle times are reduced. Seemingly a crystal ball in the form of technology, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I love it, I love it. Being able to help individuals make better overall decisions happens organically with technology like this, and when you team up with good machines and good companies like Steric, only good things happen. So lastly, because we've covered so much in this conversation, is there anything else that you would love to share with the global manufacturing world about your wonderful technology or the company which you represent? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll just wrap it up by saying, we have been doing this for a long time, and there is a lot of great technology. The Star Egg event this week has hosted a number of technological partners, and there's some great stuff out there. The thing about care and engineering is, yes, we have these great products, but one of our core competencies is our ability to interface these systems to any CNC platform. And we love working with Star Egg. We love Siemens controls, but most of our customers have a wide variety of different machines and controls. We are capable of interfacing our systems and our other great products to any machine platform. And that's really one of our strengths. We have a facility at our headquarters in Maine, in Wells, Maine, uh, that is full of CNC controls. And every CNC control manufacturer makes sure that we have the latest up-to-date version of their sy systems so that we can make sure it works with our software. And that's a really important thing for our customers. So software that predicts the future and plays nice with others, I've heard enough here. I'm absolutely sold. This sounds completely incredible. Hey, and thank you so much for your time today learning about the wonderful T-Mac and the relationship with Stereogate. Thank you so much. We will see you next time.